blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. At least nobody's going to starve in here. And surrounding counties. Go get him, Juliet. The broadcast system is now in effect. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hello. So glad everybody is safe here. <clears throat> but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, I'm just... Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? I'm sorry. Um, we had no time to investigate when the storm started. Well, then there's still hope. Look, I need a rest now. I'm wiped out. Like Arcadia Bay. I just hope Rachel's far away. Laying in the sun. Happy. Thanks for trying, Max. So I guess we just wait for the Lord to lift us up. Or not. I can't seem to escape the two whales. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I, I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max... Not only the storm, but the eclipse. The birds, the whales, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Um, what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? 
He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Warren, I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. And I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Please be okay, Chloe. Hey. Be careful out there. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. For this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. Connected to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. 
Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! If I'm totally strong and honest, she'll listen. I'm her best friend. Excuse me. Nathan, that fucker is... Because... Will you please... Chloe... Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and... I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... It, you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to... End your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? Is that why you stuck up for him? Because you think he can help us, really? Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Max is back. 
So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're a Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is it stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm what back in class. As he what the hell? Lives. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. To shadow, this might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the messed human up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and there you go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, Kate. Not yet, you bastard. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I like to think of it as our dark room. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm.
Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life. And death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Max, how could you let me jump off a roof? You were the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate, I, I was only trying to save you. She was my angel. After my dad died and he moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. How do you know she just disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. That 
That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing my bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smart ass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened to them. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have, too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> Maybe Rachel... Both of us. I wonder if Rachel has a room around here. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even It's just a tool. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Well, Max Caulfield, I could Victoria's open- Victoria's room has to be nearby. This one is for Samuel. Ich 
Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after Max. me again. You no. used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand me. Hey. Oh, Max! Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be myself is in the dark room. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I... Max? What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor for life. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Miss Caulfield. Wait, Max. Where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play, eh? Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go, ape? Go, ape, go, ape, babe, babe. I knew I should have given that scholarship to Victoria instead of Max. You take my wheels, Max? Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Get in the car! Miss Price can't just show up at Blackwell in a wheelchair and think we're going to accommodate her every whim. Come over here, young Max. You're my spirit. Your friends out of life. Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak! Those were my beads! Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. Max! Maybe I'll wake up. Oh, Max! Come on, girly. Hey, Max! Hey, Max! Now. Max, Rachel not only gave great headshots, she gave great head. Especially after I dug her body up to be- Hey! Max? She gave great- Oh man! Especially you should have heard Chloe smack talk you! 
It was brutal. But of course, I see what she's talking about now. Max. If you took some of my drugs, maybe you'd be a lot happier. If only you could have seen Rachel. My blood spattered angel. Oh, Rachel is worm food. Comedy, gold, genius. But of course, I see what she's talking about now. Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Nobody ever helped me, Max. Especially you. dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Winds. What? get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and... tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber. But not Max. Max is a child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up. Does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. Not after she kissed me. Her breath was 
ass and no tongue. I hear that. I'm not into nerds, but you're pretty cute. I'm not into Max anyway. So let's bust a move. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit, look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about hey, to start I a new life. You breaker, breaker. Thanks for saving me. Don't let the baby squirrels die. Oh, we had been friends now. Who, who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. That's true. I wasted my power on trying to be friends with everybody. About time you admitted that but it's way too late after everything you've done. But I still have great friends, and my power helped some. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Of course. She's my best friend. Oh yeah, you ignored your best friend for five years while she went through hell. <laughs> Some friend. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. D 
dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie, come on. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Let's talk about your superpower. <laughs> Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. Max, you better come check out these files. Cowabunga! Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freak- Buddha bomb! I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you s- Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father- It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Oh, awesome picture. Chloe, you're back. Kate wasn't the first. Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no, please not her! Come on, Max, we're almost there. Chloe? I... I must have passed out. Oh, I'm thank sorry. God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority. You were all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my, my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, 
I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe, I'm gonna miss you so much. love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! 